Right you guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to remove the pesky Windows Fix Disk. It's an analyzing come optimization tool which is fake and it infects your machine and it can cause havoc. Uh, basically it's infecting your machine also with a rootkit and what we're going to use is four tools to remove this. Uh, we're going to be using iExplore which is our kill, Unhide which shows us all our Windows files again, Malwarebytes and TDSS Killer. So the first one we're going to need to do is obviously I explore our kill and as you can see here uh, in our C drive it's hiding all our Windows files so we can't manually remove it ourselves so the first thing we're going to want to do is run I explore now we will give you all the links for, it, for these you can actually surf the internet with this infection but I will show you to do it so first thing I explore first run this like so just leave it running let it do its thing okay and it will start to do that takes a bit of time okay it's now ready so once we get to this stage we're on Windows XP here as you can see but this also infects um, Windows 7 and as you can see it's application data now you would have no way of stopping this uh, program without this uh, these files running because you couldn't get into the Windows uh, a directory there to, to actually delete these files so this is the reason why we need our kill or I explore now we've done that you don't want to close the system down okay you want to install uh, malware bytes but first thing I'm going to do is run TDSS killer because I know the new variant variants of this uh, infection have got rootkits on them so the first thing I want to do is actually scan just to make sure that this isn't one of those ones that's got a nasty rootkit in, in it so what we want to do is just run that just to make sure it's not found any so this must be the older variant that we've got which hasn't got that embedded in it but the new ones have so don't forget to do this scan okay you must make sure you do that the next one we want to do is also run malware bytes and we can install now this program it won't allow you to install this program if you leave that uh, nasty program running so you need to make sure you use our kill to kill it off first or I explore I'll say our kill because it's the same thing really okay so that we're gonna update here and as you can see it's gone black on our screen you have to act quite quickly on this because it keeps hiding your applications when you download them okay so install them straight away and run them so once we've done that we're gonna actually do a full scan here of malware bytes and I'm just going to run a scan like so and once this is finished we'll remove all those off okay so the first thing you want to do we'll just recap on that we want to download all the programs and I will put all the links in the description for you uh, you want to run rkill first or iExplore don't shut down the PC and then you want to uh, run TDSS killer just to make sure you haven't got that variant with the rootkit in it and then also run uh, malware bytes after that and when we're finished we can tidy up with unhide so I'm just gonna let this run it shouldn't take too long again I get a lot of questions people saying I don't need to use malware bytes because I've got nod32 or Norton or malware or McAfee or something like that or Avast you do need to have other programs uh, other than that program there you can run it with that program I would suggest you get yourself uh, Malwarebytes Pro which will run in the uh, taskbar with your alongside your antivirus and I would also advise you get a firewall alongside that as well and you can also use Super Anti Spyware as an on-demand scanner as well as that okay so you're using layered security that's what I'd advise you to do also you want to make sure your browser's got web of trust uh, and, and stuff like that I will do that in my next video just to show you how to protect yourself a little bit more okay so the scan is now finished sorry if I was waffling on there just trying to kill time so we're gonna show the results here and as you can see we've got our results in here and we're gonna clean all these off we're just gonna say yep remove those you can keep the log file if you wish if you've got more infections we do need to restart at this stage so I'll quickly restart 
I'll just let the system restart up now and hopefully the infection should be gone which it is okay so that's the infection gone as you can see now we should still have no C drive if we look in here we've got our C drive all missing it's it's completely disappeared with all our files what we're going to do is use this file a uh, program called unhide we're going to run this like so and then what we're going to do here your files should now be visible click OK cool little program that very very useful saves you going into command prompt and doing it all manually so we'll have a look at our C drive and hey presto all our files are back so pretty cool pretty easy to do once you know how and uh, what I'd advise you to do if you have got this sort of infection is to run more scans don't just leave it at that scan run um, super anti spyware and also do an online scan with uh, Bitdefender, Nod32, Kaspersky something of that nature just to make sure the system is fully clean also you could run something like root repel uh, uh, to make sure that you've got no uh, root kits on there okay so okay this is this is uh, the end of the video my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk hope this video has been some use to you hope you uh, get your computers clean I shall see you on the forums if you've got any computer problems thanks again guys don't forget hit that subscribe button if you enjoy these videos also rate for all my videos thanks again bye for now